New Mexico Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham made a major announcement today, a bold step in the fight to prevent gun violence and a decision that is sparking widespread outrage tonight. She has announced a temporary gun ban in public places in Albuquerque and Bernalillo County. Tonight, we're explaining the details of this announcement, and we have a lot of new backlash to bring you tonight. Griffin Rushton is here. Griffin, you were at this announcement. We have a lot to go over, but we will note this is a part of a public health order. Yeah, that's right. She took this step after declaring a public health emergency last night. She's adamant New Mexico is facing a gun violence crisis, especially after this week's deadly road rage shooting. The order suspends open and concealed carry laws for the next 30 days in cities or counties with significantly high violent crime rates and firearm related hospital visits. That means this order only applies to Albuquerque and Bernalillo County, and there are several exceptions. The order does not affect law enforcement or licensed security officers. It also does not include private properties, licensed firearm retailers, legal firing ranges and shooting competitions. However, anyone traveling between those locations must store their guns in a locked container or safety box. The purpose is to try to create a cooling off period while we figure out how we can better address public safety and gun violence. Part of that includes collecting new data. The order also requires all New Mexico hospitals report more information on gunshot victims, including their age, gender, ethnicity, and the type of gun used. It's also calling for wastewater testing for certain drugs like fentanyl at all public schools. Additionally, the order directs CYFD to take another look at its juvenile probation protocols, a clear sign this order is targeting youth gun violence. It should horrify every American and every New Mexican that so many young people and so many individuals with no training, with reckless criminal behaviors, are openly carrying firearms in our communities. I'm horrified. The governor said today more state police officers are heading to Albuquerque, and her order is also committing state resources to arrest more suspects with outstanding warrants. Now, we should add the state is also offering free trigger locks to all gun owners. We're going to put the information on how to get those up on KOB.com. And almost immediately, this decision sparked a, a lot of opposition from many different areas in our state. Yeah, and the governor was expecting that. She said today that she was expecting legal challenges, and she said that not not all the public safety officers who, that she met with to make this decision agree with her, and that includes Bernalillo County Sheriff John Allen. In a statement, he says, while I understand and appreciate the urgency, the temporary ban challenges the foundation of our Constitution. I am wary of placing my deputies in positions that could lead to civil liability conflicts, as well as the potential risks posed by prohibiting law-abiding citizens from their constitutional right to self-defense. APD Chief Harold Medina sent a message to his officers tonight saying they will not be enforcing the governor's order. Albuquerque Mayor Tim Keller echoed that message saying that's up to state police officers. New Mexico Republican leaders and Albuquerque City Councilor and police union leaders have also sharply criticized the governor's decision, largely calling it unconstitutional. Republican Party Chairman Steve Pierce added the governor admitted she knew her order is unconstitutional and says her order puts citizens in a dangerous situation and is outright illegal. The governor directly addressed those concerns today. No constitutional right, in my view, including my oath, is intended to be absolute. There are restrictions on free speech. There are restrictions on my freedoms. In this emergency, this 11-year-old and all these parents who have lost all these children, they deserve my attention to have the debate about whether or not in an emergency we can create a safer environment. The governor says she plans on using all the data they're collecting to decide if this public health order should be extended or potentially modified once the 30 days are up. Right, at least 30 days, it'll be in effect, and we'll keep asking the governor's office whether they plan on extending that when it gets close there. All right, Griffin, thank you.